Hey everybody, my name is David Vidal. Welcome back to my personal channel, Socials Awkward. And today I'll be answering the question, do loud pipes actually save lives? Let's go. Okay, so lots and lots of debate over whether or not loud pipes actually save lives. So um, let's talk about it real quick. Before I get too deep into the video, I'm just gonna spoil it and tell you I am camp yes. I think loud pipes do save lives, but I don't think loud pipes save lives for the same reason that you probably think loud pipes save lives. Let's talk about it. First of all, there's a big difference between intentionally setting up your bike versus being an outright attention whore. And sometimes that's what happens with loud pipes. Here's the real problem. And this isn't just a pipe problem. This is kind of like a human problem is that we think that if, if something is a little good, then a lot of that something is gonna be much better. For, for example, maybe you think ice cream is good. So you're like, wow, this ice cream is delicious. Uh, so more ice cream would be better. And then all of a sudden you've got a pot belly and pre-diabetic and all, all the other things. So a little ice cream is good, a lot, you know, maybe didn't make your life all that much better. The same can be said of money. We think, well, a little money makes me a little happy, so a lot of money is gonna make me a lot of happy. And that's just not true. And for those of us who have had a little and have had a lot, we can tell you that, um, you know, it's, it's really not about that. It's about being content with what you've got, wanting what you have. So I, I don't wanna make this a philosophy lesson, but it, it bleeds into the reason why some people have loud pipes and some people have obnoxious pipes and to each their own. Listen, I love pipes. You guys know I did a whole video on the M4s on my on my T-Rex and I absolutely love them. I feel bad for every T-Rex rider who has eliminated one of their pipes. Uh, to me, it looks like a missing limb. Man, the the T-Rex looks so symmetrical. It's it looks so good. I don't know why you'd mess with that with the looks of it. That's just my personal opinion. I don't I don't know why you'd want to mess with the looks of it. I, I don't think it gives you that much of a gain. Um, I mean, unless you're really, really like a track guy, um, I don't think you really get that much gain out of it. Uh, plus, man, they sound so good. Why would you want to cut half the sound out? Um, they're the most fun thing to look at. Um, you know, my favorite view of the T-Rex is from the back. Um, so whatever that says about me is what it says about me. <laughs> but uh, but I, I, I really love it. I love pipes a lot. I love pipes on motorcycles, like traditional motorcycles. I love them on sport bikes. I love them on, um, you know, trial bikes and, and uh, adventure bikes and Harleys and like all, like I, I, love, I love the sound of them, I love the look of them. Uh, some of them are too loud, let's be honest. Somebody rolls up on the side of you and they hammer down on that throttle and it just makes your ears pop. Um, you know, that, that's not really what I'm talking about. So there are some things that you do intentionally on your bike just as a means of safety. For example, I chose some pretty wild colors for my T-Rex and that's not normally me. I'm kind of a black and black and black and black guy like I will drive a, a darker vehicle when they start making a color that's darker than black um, but the the reason um, I wanted a louder color is I want to be seen on the road and not like I want to be seen like I want all eyes on me I don't want that kind of attention um, but I do want people to recognize that I'm on the road because I don't want to be run over these t-rexes sit so low to the ground I mean you're literally you could be behind a Honda Civic and, and looking into their exhaust, you know, like their, their bumper is at an eye level. So um, you really do feel like you're in a go-kart. You're, you're down very, very low. And if you have a, a black T-Rex, and I love the black T-Rex, I love how it looks, but man, you gotta take more care on the road. It's dangerous, people can't see you. Uh, it's the same reason why I got LED lights on mine. Um, some guys absolutely candy coat their, their T-Rexes with LEDs, and I think that's super, super cool, but again, I didn't want that kind of attention, but I did want to be seen. To me, it was a matter of safety. I just, you know, if you're out um, rolling around in the dark uh, and and you're already very, very low, and then add to that that people can't see you. So anything you can do to kind of attract attention to your T-Rex is going to be helpful uh, so that you're not getting hit by, by uh, drivers who are on their phones or, you know, just autopiloting to wherever it is that they need to go. So a loud pipe will serve in the same way that a loud paint job or some lights will also serve by, by way of protection. Now those who argue that loud pipes don't save lives are usually exhausted from the people who have like obnoxiously loud pipes. 
And they argue that all the sound is coming from behind you, so it's not really doing you any good. And I kind of agree with that in a, in a way. It is coming from behind, and people aren't necessarily going to hear me coming, especially if they're you know in a car with their air conditioning on and their music on and like all the other distractions that they've got going on in their cars. But here's the key about loud pipes is they're not about you. That's right. Loud pipes save lives because they bring awareness to drivers. So somebody might not hear me coming, but when I pass them and they hear my pipes, they recognize that, hey, there's other motorcycles on the road. There are smaller vehicles. There are other things out here that I'm not really paying attention to, but that sound can actually alert them to the fact that there are other vehicles on the road and that they need to be paying attention. So while your loud pipe might not save your life, your loud pipe very well may save the life of somebody else. Why? Because you brought awareness to the road. Some gritty, even some what I would describe as loud sound, I think is good, I think it helps, I think it saves lives. Uh, on the other hand, I think that if you have like an obnoxious sound, if it, if it sounds worse than if your muffler was off completely, and your bike is just throwing out so much noise that it's irritating people. Now you're actually on the other side. You're causing people to uh, wish you harm rather than just be excited about that, that cool thing that you have. So be intentional about the pipes that you choose and the, the sound that they give off. Uh, way loud is not necessarily better, but I would say louder is better in general. I think that loud pipes do save lives I think the sound is half of the experience, and I think you're doing your other riding brothers and sisters a great service by raising awareness on the roads and getting these distracted drivers to get their eyes where they belong. But what about you? Comment below if you think loud pipes save lives or don't save lives. Are they awesome or are they obnoxious? Let us know what you think. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Ride safely. I'll see you on the road.